I have, a, I have a sort of working in a similar way to I do now from a really young age. So I was always collecting things and making little museums. So I was always kind of doing things like that, which really is what I'm doing now, but now it's called being an artist. And at the time it was called being a kid. So I started to work really like a documentary maker. So I, I sort of saw my job as an artist to, to sort of create new structures that I could put onto everyday life um, in which things happen, but because of the structure, you're kind of able to see them in a different way. And I, I really was much more interested in documentary being something that doesn't have a medium. So it's not connected to video, for example, for me at all, but it's really just a set of concerns like the the observation and collection and editing of life and representing it in new ways as, as narratives and letting those narratives occur in the mind of the viewer rather than in the filmmaker telling you what's going where. So it, within those parameters I'm still making documentaries um, but I use, now I use objects for example or installations or writing or other media. The thing that's really important to me is making space. I mean, I think that's my job as an artist to, to like make interesting spaces. And by space, I mean like an absence or a gap. So I kind of try and like make enough of a structure that the viewer is sort of trying to figure out what that, what's in that space. Like that's where the story is told. Growing up by the ocean, um, I was always beachcombing and I, I sort of realized there's a lot of that in my work, that just sort of embracing serendipity, so not going to the art shop and buying like X, Y, Z and then making the thing out of the thing I plan to buy, but, but like going out for a walk and seeing what turns up, like what you happen to find and building, building work out of those starting points.